This is a short demonstration of how to remove the rear wheel from a Honda PCX125. Firstly you need to take off the exhaust uh, guard and that is by using the, these two little uh, uh, bolts here. 10mm uh, uh, is the size of those. Next you need to get underneath to get out the exhaust. Uh, you can see there's two uh, chrome bolts up in there that, that uh, brings it onto the manifold. As you can see another time uh, we're on the 12mm uh, socket as well. Uh, you can see it's a long reach socket uh, to just reach in and get round the pipe. As I've done this before you can see it's not overly difficult uh, as uh, uh, the smart move to put uh, copper grease on and that sort of thing. Ok, as you can see, you see the copper grease still there. Ok, for the exhaust, to take the remainder of the exhaust off, you have three bolts, you can see them here. Uh, these are all 14mm bolts, and they attach on to the, the, the swinging arm, as you can see. Again, because uh, they have copper grease, they're not too seized, the rings uh, quite quite fluid. Quite difficult to hold a, a pocket can porter in a hand and work at a bike too, but I'm, I'm doing my best here. Okay, that's uh, the exhaust broke from the manifold. I uh, just take the last nut out and uh, managed to take away the exhaust. Now, uh, at this stage, I would uh, loosen the, the, the wheel nut. 24mm spanner, uh, ring spanner is what I've used for this. If you have 24mm socket, way to go. Um, then I remove the, the, the shock absorber. Uh, this again is another 12mm socket. Now, the swinging arm, you've got two bolts on the swinging arm there, uh, both 14mm thick. Move the shock absorber away from the, the swinging arm unit, the A frame, and remove the nuts of the bolts. This just then um, eases off quite easily. Just be careful with the little uh, keep for the, with the bearing, and that's the swinging arm. Off. Now you need to take off the the little uh, splash guard there, uh, just over the back wing. Uh, that's a 10mm bolt. Uh, uh, just ease that away from the keep. Uh, it takes a wee bit of a tug, but it, it does come off easy enough. You can see it's a little dirt and dust falling. Right, now just pull the wheel over the road. Just as on the slides and ease it off. There you go. Expose the, the brake shoes, maybe that's the job you're wanting to do. There you go, you've got your right frame, your exhaust, and your wheel now uh, well clear along with your exhaust. Left a few e bolts, best put in a, a little bucket just ready to reassemble. I uh, hope this helps.